So, there's a new dinosaur movie going to be coming out next year, July 2025 in the uh, summer. And I'm going to talk about what we know about it so far and give you all my opinions. I've been a big fan of dinosaurs since I was a kid and I've always been a fan of the Jurassic franchise. So, let's talk about Jurassic World Rebirth. The logo looks okay. I mean, you expect the logo to look like this. Harkens all the way back to the original Jurassic Park logo. This is going to be a, a sequel to the Jurassic World trilogy, and I guess you could say by extension the Jurassic Park trilogy. The director is Gareth Edwards. He directed the Godzilla movie that a lot of people like, including myself. He also directed Rogue One, probably the best live-action Star Wars movie that's come out of Lucasfilm since the Disney takeover and Kathleen Kennedy. Uh, speaking of Kathleen Kennedy, uh, her and her husband have a company called the Kennedy Marshall Company, along with uh, Amblin. Uh, they're the other production studio behind uh, Jurassic World Reboot. But uh, the Kennedy Marshall Company was also behind Jurassic World, uh, Fallen Kingdom, and Dominion. And her husband, Frank Marshall, is the one who runs Kennedy Marshall Company, not Kathleen Kennedy, who's busy running Lucasfilm into the ground. Now, some of the actors attached to Jurassic World Rebirth include Scarlett Johansson, Marshala Ali, Jonathan Bailey, and a few others as well. Decent actors. I will say that, and I do like Gareth Edwards as a director, so, you know, that's a check right there for the actors that they've cast, the director, but now let's talk about uh, the plot, and this is where I become concerned about this movie. Five years after the events of Jurassic World Dominion, the planet's ecology has proven largely inhospitable to dinosaurs. Those remaining exist on isolated equator environments with climates resembling the one they once thrived. The three most colossal creatures within the tropical biosphere hold the key to a drug that will bring miraculous life-saving benefits to humankind. So, once again, connecting to uh, the Star Wars sequel trilogy, where they were going in one direction with Episode 8, and then they pulled a 180 with Episode 9, something similar is happening here with Jurassic World Reboot, because at the end of Fallen Kingdom, the dinosaurs are released into the world, and the dinosaurs are thriving in Dominion, which is years later after the events of Fallen Kingdom. And at the end of the movie, it's all about learning to coexist with the dinosaurs that have successfully spread throughout the globe, including the Mosasaur hanging out with Wells, perhaps due to their mutual hatred of sharks. So this really doesn't make sense. You think the dinosaurs would have already been dying off the first year or two after the events of Fallen Kingdom before Dominion if the dinosaurs were not able to survive and thrive on Earth. But for reasons, five years later, according to the plot of Jurassic World Reboot, the planet ecology is now largely inhospitable to dinosaurs, despite it being hospitable for them for the past several years prior. And then there's this weird MacGuffin, how I guess Scarlett Johansson and uh, what Jonathan Bailey and Marshall Ali are going to be going after uh, three colossal dinosaur creatures on a tropical biosphere that supposedly hold a key to a drug that will be miraculously life-saving that benefits humankind. That sounds like something out of Deep Blue Sea where they created the Super Makos in order to cure Alzheimer's. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Now, the screenwriter for Jurassic World Rebirth, I know I've said Reboot a few times, oh well. <laughs> reboot, Reboot, Rebirth, whatever. Anyways, the legendary uh, David Coop is the screenwriter for Jurassic World Rebirth, which is a check. But, you know, he's also written some questionable stuff, too. You know, he's known for his involvement in Jurassic Park, Lost World Jurassic Park, Carlito's Way, Mission Impossible, Spider-Man, Indiana Jones, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, <laughs> Indiana Jones, Style of Destiny. <laughs> in other words, David's had some hits and he's had some misses as a uh, screenwriter. <laughs> but allegedly, Scarlett Johansson is going to be playing a character called Zora Bennett. A skilled covert operations expert. By the way, this is from Wikipedia. So it could be legit information or it could be BS. Uh, Marcella Ali is playing Dunkard Kincaid, Bennett's most trusted team leader. 
and Jonathan Bailey is Dr. Henry Loomis. No, not Dr. Loomis from Halloween. Uh, Dr. Loomis, the paleontologist. And Rupert Friend is playing a character called Martin Cribbs, a pharmacological representative. I'm sure he will not be the bad guy in the movie. <laughs> the premise of this movie just does not sound good. I could be wrong. It could be a great film by the time it comes out in summer 2025. But I kind of like the idea of like gathering the, the dinosaurs up and putting them into a new park instead of them dying after they've been thriving for past several years now from the end of once again Fallen Kingdom all the way up to Dominion. They seem to be doing just fine. But if you want to know my hot take about what I think they should do for a future Jurassic movie, I think they should go back to the drawing board and completely reboot the franchise with a version of Jurassic Park based more in line with the Michael Crichton novel. I did do a video about that a few months ago, if you happen to be interested. There is another thing coming out in 2025, allegedly, that I'm actually excited about. The sequel to this game, Jurassic World Evolution 2. So we got Jurassic World Evolution 3 coming out, hopefully around the time Jurassic World Reboot is going to be in theaters. Oh, another game coming out is Jurassic Park Survival. I don't know why I keep forgetting about that game. I hope it's good. It has kind of like an alien isolation vibe to it. There's always rumors about it being delayed or outright canceled, but I hope that's not the case. So we do have two games coming out eventually, uh, Jurassic themed, Jurassic World Evolution 3, allegedly, and Jurassic World Survival. So even if Jurassic World Rebirth ends up sucking, at least we have two Jurassic games to look forward to. Now I want to know what you think about Jurassic World Reboot. Are you excited for the new dinosaur film? Do you think it'll at least be better than Fallen Kingdom and Dominion? Or will it be even worse? But now I want to know your thoughts, views, and opinions. Welcome, as always, below in the comments section.